I'm Dr. Gadold. I'll be teaching the Chem 3 class for the summer session. It is an online class, okay? And I'll give you all the information you need to go take that class and complete it. it will go through, we'll go through all the different, uh, the modules you're gonna go through and all the different exams are gonna be required of you, the different labs also. Okay. Short introduction, I'm a dentist out in 29 Palms. I've been here about 28 years. I've taught at the college for about 11 years now. I taught um, chemistry, um, many forms of all the different classes in chemistry. I taught human physiology and human anatomy also. All right, I'm gonna share my screen and see what you're gonna get when you log on. Okay, this is your introduction to general chemistry. If you go down scroll here, you'll see the little introduction here. Uh, most of this is not relevant for you, but the videos here, under this videos, this is where I'll be posting all my Zoom meetings. So I'm recording Zoom meetings. If you wanna go back and review it, you can. So you click on the videos and these are recorded. The Zoom is gonna be posted right in here in order. Okay, so from the home from the home page, what you can do is go to modules. That's where the basic structure of the class is. So you click on modules. Okay, and this tells you how to start the class and what you're going to be responsible for. Let's, everything's broken down by week, so this is your basic introduction here. Okay, if you scroll down through the modules, you'll see week one, week two, week three, four, five, six, and seven of what we're going to be covering. Okay. So let's start with the beginning. Go to basic information, click on that. <coughs> and this gives you basic information on the class. The video I'm doing now will be located right here. If you click on it, you'll be able to replay this video if you have more questions for the class. Uh, it's a seven week class. You're gonna follow the modules. You need to have sapling, which is your learning one. You'll do your homework through sapling and your labs through sapling. Okay. And the, the ebook will also be through sapling, the Ravel ebook. I'll give you the ISB and listen here also. Hey, there'll be a midterm and a final exam. Okay. You can use the question and answer form anytime you want for learning class or just email me. Either way is fine. Okay. And to navigate through the modules, just click next, go to the next page, or you go back to the modules, click at each individual one. Okay, so it's an introductory class for general chemistry. It'll satisfy the chemistry prerequisite for the registered nursing program at CMC, also for other, um, co other uh, classes at different colleges. It tells you different topics you're going to be covering. Hey, here's some frequently asked questions on here also. The textbook is going to be Kevin Ravel, 2018 Introduction Chemistry First Edition, which includes Sapling Plus and McMillan Company is the publisher. And the ISB is 978-131-942-7603. You can get that at the bookstore. Do we use the textbook in the class? Yes, everything is going to go right through the textbook. We're going to follow right along with the textbook with all the homework assignments for each chapter and the labs for each chapter. Class is gonna take anywhere from 60 to 24 hours a week of study time. It's a very intensive class. It's gonna be a lot of information, extremely quick. And so it's a self-paced class. So the, the guideline is for each week for you to keep up with. If you don't keep up, it's gonna be really hard to catch up in the other class. It meets requirements that are in program. There are nothing, labs can't be made up because be, everything's due at the end of the semester. There is no extra credit. Your performance is based on your exams, your lab work, and your homework. Okay, this tells you your course objectives, what you'll be able to do at the end of this class. And this is my contact information. Email is at sgadold at cmccd.edu. Use that to email me with any questions you have in the class. That's the easiest way to get hold of me. I check my emails multiple times a day. The school phone number, I don't have an office there, so it's real hard to reach me there, but you can leave a message through the school, their voice message. You can call my office, my staff, my receptionist will always know where I'm at, okay? You can call now, or you can text me at my cell phone. Anyway, those is a good way to get a hold of me. The best way is email though, because I can respond to that at any time. <clears throat> the syllabus for the class is available right here. Go to syllabus, click on syllabus, and it will download the syllabus. And this will just basically take you through the class. This is an introductory class, gives you the numbers, gives you the description of the class, gives you your student learning outcomes. Okay, it tells you how it's gonna be assessed. Course runs June 14th to Jan July 29th. All work is due July 29th, 11.59 p.m. After that, there can be no work turned in. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I'll do Zoom meetings from six to nine. Those are not mandatory. Like I said, this is an online class. 
these Zoom meetings are strictly for your questions. If you have questions when you're doing your reading, this is where you ask your questions and it'll help you. I'll go over a couple of the main concepts as we go along, but there's no prepared lectures for this class. Everything's gonna be online for you. You know, it's at your own pace and these are to help assist you these two Zoom meetings. I can be available at other times also, email me, you can set up different Zoom meetings if you like or work with groups, however you wanna do it. Required text, we said it as a rebel. Uh, introductory chemistry, first edition, there's the ISBN again. You have to have Canvas, be able to use Canvas. Okay. Attendance is an online class. You work at your own pace. You're responsible for all the deadlines because they're all going to be posted in the syllabus. Okay. It's your responsibility to drop or withdraw from the class because I don't know who's coming and who's not. Just know that stuff is mandatory. There are no makeup exams. You have, you'll have for each exam, there'll be a midterm and a final. Each one you can be in a 24 hour block on the day it's due. I'll open the exam at 12.01 a.m., close it at 11.59 p.m. And you'll have a time frame, like it's either three hours, three and a half hours to take that exam. Uh, mutual respect, critical training safety, uh, learning environment. You know, be when you're involved with people, just be considerate of others. Email, there's a policies for the email, which you need to place in them. I uh, use response emails well within 24 hours. Uh, students with disabilities, equal opportunity, academic in, um, integrity, all those stuff you've seen before. Uh, don't cheat, always do your own work. All right, this is the, uh, the, the syllabus here, the schedule we'll be doing. So week one, starting on June 14th, we'll have chapters one, two, and three, labs one, two, and three. Okay. The second week, we chapters four, five, and then labs four and five. Week three, chapter six and seven, lab six and seven. Week five, chapters eight and nine, labs eight and nine. On the 9th of July, that'll be your midterm. They'll cover chapters one through nine. Okay. Again, you have a 24 hour block on July 9th to finish that exam. Okay. And just we have that time frame specified. I think it's three hours or three and a half hours. It'll, it'll say a, a brief each exam when I get them completed. Chapters on, on the fifth week, chapters 10 and 11, lab, chapter, I'm sorry, 10, 11, and on the fifth week, chapters 10, 11, and 12, labs 10, 11, and 12. On the sixth week, chapter 13, 14, labs 13, 14. On the seventh week, chapter 15, 16, lab 15, 16, and the final exam is on the 29th of July, the last day of class. Letter grades will be 90 to 100 is an A, A to 89 is a B, 70, 79 is a C, 60, 69 is a D, less than 60 is an F. That being said, I will grade on a curve. So if a whole bunch of people, the, the curve will never hurt your grade. I mean, if you get above a 90, you're going to name the class, no matter what the curve is. Okay. But if only one or two people in the whole class get above 90, I'll lower the grading for an A. Okay. So the curve will always help you. Okay. How the points are broken down. When you're doing the sapling homework, there's a practice one. That's worth five points. It just introduces you to it, how to use sapling, and gets you accustomed how to use it. Run through that, that'll give you five points. Then each chapter is a homework assignment after each one. There's 16 chapters, there's 16 homework assignments. Each one is worth 20 points. You complete those on, chat, on a sapling. It'd be homework chapter one, homework chapter two, et cetera. That's a total of 320 points. The midterm is 150 points, the final is 250 points, and then the labs are also through sapling. Okay, they'll be listed as labs for chapters one, two, three, et cetera, all the way to 16. Each lab is worth 15 points and total, you have 240 points, total is 965 points. So this just breaks down each what we just said, the chapter homework, okay, the, mid, the midterm and the final, the online labs, okay, no extra credit, uh, grade appeal procedures, CMC drop policy, and keys to success are do not fall behind. This is going to be a really fast paced class. Don't wait till the last minute to study it. You'll never get through it. Try to keep up with the minimum of what I've assigned in the syllabus as we're going through the schedule. Read each chapter prior to class, prior to our Zoom meeting. So you have questions, ask me, because those are question and answer sessions for you. Those are to help you keep pace with the class so you understand the concepts. Ask questions. Always, always ask questions. Email me anytime. I'm always up at weird hours. I don't sleep very often so I might get emails at two in the morning at six in the morning at you know ten at night whatever just put them on the email I'll get back to you really quick take notes as you're going through the books get students together if you put a study together I'll be more than happy to come over and help you guys study something we have concepts with 
we can get a, a room somewhere at the library or something and go over some of the different things or meet at someone's house. I don't mind. Okay. Attend the office hour, the Zoom meetings, study 12 to 14 weeks in addition to the regular classwork and never be afraid to ask for help. Always ask for help if you need that. Never is a problem. I love giving out, I love that people ask, for, ask questions and the information. Okay, so that is the syllabus. The next part is additional resources. Utilize classmates, group discussions, work in groups, okay? There's questions also at the end of each chapter of the book. You can use those for extra questions to help you understand concepts. And I'll gladly go over those with you also. So you have all kinds of resources here. And even on a sapling, you have extra resources through uh, videos that are actually really good videos. Technical support and running uh, um, Canvas. This is your help with Canvas. Guidelines and stuff like that. And then you start with your chapters. What each chapter is going to have, it'll say chapter, and then this is one foundations. This is the, 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 what you're going to learn from each chapter. Chapter two would be the next one. This is what you can learn from chapter two when you read through it. Again, these are your reading assignments you need to complete. So it is important to have the book. And the, the ebook is included with Sapling. It's all part of the same deal. So all your labs, all your homework, your textbook, is everything's in one package. Okay, and this is lecture through chapter three and so on. It'll go on and tell you what's needed from chapter three. Now, as you go on through that, then you have lab one. It says lab one, there's six simulations that deal with particles. Okay, you run those through sapling. Lab two, there's eight density simulations. Okay, these are ones you're gonna add water to, you're gonna weigh things, you're gonna move things around the scale. So they're pretty simple to do. And the way the homework is set up, you'll get, uh, if you get the wrong answer, you get penalized 5%, and you get to do it again. The labs, there is, no, there is no penalty for it. If you get the wrong answer, you can do it again. So you can go through the labs as many times as you'd like to get all the right answers. Lab two, lab three, there's going to be 10 simulations dealing with charges, reactivity, and molecular configurations. Again, any questions with the labs or any of them, just always email me or we can talk about that at our Zoom meetings. Not a problem. Okay. Then at the end, at the end of each section, after the exams, after the, I'm sorry, after the election, after the chapter assignments, I'm sorry, and the labs, I put together some pages that might help with you, different concepts. This one is solutions. This tells you between homogeneous and heterogeneous solutions. I'll give you some examples. Okay. The next one I did was on significant figures. Any trouble with significant figures? This is all the rules here. I kind of summarized for you. Okay. And you can go through each of these. I'll show you on the modules how each one of these are. Um, help with conversions. A lot of people have problems with conversions. Here's some help in doing, I pick one of the toughest conversions. If you can do this, you can do any of the conversions. Okay, and we'll go through the conversions too. But anytime you want to get your modules, click on modules, okay? And you go back to any of this information we covered, go back to the syllabus, tells you everything we're gonna do. Week one, chapters one, two, and three, labs one, two, and three, you need to complete. And these are all things to help you, which are solutions, three figures, help with conversions, density problems, the periodic table, protons, neutrons, electrons, atomic mass. Week two is the same way. Chapters four and five, are you reading? Labs four and five, are you completed? There, um, there's help with energy and light, electron configuration. So if you click on any of these, like electron configuration, you click on it, it'll bring you to a page that goes over the different SPDF orbitals and the different electron configuration you're gonna need to know for the, for the exam and for how to do the material, how to do that. Okay, so all through these modules, there's these different help pages that are, and they're, they're contingent with each chapter. That's what you're gonna be studying each week. So here's week three. Again, six and seven, balancing chemical equation, help with that. Balancing combustion reactions, percent yield, stoichiometry. Week four, uh, Lewis structures, extra help, heat capacity, calorimetry. Week five, okay, there's some uh, net ionic equations, combined gas laws. Again, these are all things to help you through it. On week seven, this is organic chemistry. That's actually my favorite. So there's a lot of information on that one. There's a lot of information here just to help you understand everything with the different functional groups. Okay, and after that, then there's a final examination. So you have your final exam at the end and your midterm should be listed right here also at week number four, end of week four. All right, so those are your modules. I also put together a little data packet, which just kind of puts things in a little area so you can get at one place. So you see where it says data packet on the left-hand side here? 
you can access the syllabus or you can access the data packet or my contact information. But if you hit data packet, I just put together some information that we use all the time. Okay, metric conversions. I mean, all this is in your text, so it's not a problem, but this is just, <clears throat> you might want to print it out. It's just an easy location for it. English to metric conversions, common English conversions. Here's your common polyatomic ions we're going to use. You have a solubility chart, which you can use for different precipitations. Pressure conversions, ideal gas laws, combined gas law. Uh, covalent compounds for organic chemistry, electronegativity values for how elements are going to react. Name of, commons, name of common acids, name of common bases. This is an activity series of metals. Again, we're going to do some experiments on these. We're going to do that um, with different simulations. This is the ease of oxidation that they have. So lithium extremely oxidized very readily. Gold does not oxidize hardly at all. <clears throat> specific heat calculations for different metals, a specific heat for them. Organic nomenclature again. And then we get some DNA, which has some triplet codes to it in the end, one of the end of the chapters. And these are different amino acids that DNA will code for as they convert to your proteins in your body. Different temperature conversions. Cal again, you know Fahrenheit, centigrade, and Kelvin. Okay, now when you see Kelvin, you'll notice Kelvin does not have a degree associated with it. Kelvin's a measurement of, of energy being transferred from heat. There's no degree associated with Kelvin. There's degree centigrade and degrees Fahrenheit, but then there's just Kelvin. You need spate of light, Planck's constant, Avogadro's number, uh, KPP for water, KFP, freezing point for water, boiling point for water, the K values for them when we're doing um, specific heats. This is uh, speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Energy equals freak, um, Planck's constant times the frequency. Dilution factors, uh, different uh, values for specific heat experiments. Uh, Q value for transferring energy and the pH is minus the log of H plus concentration. And then here's a periodic table from uh, Flynn. So there's just some things that, you might, that are all in one place was easy reference for you. Uh, other than that, that's about it. I will be online Monday. You can always contact me beforehand. I will send an email out with this video link and you always email it from the Canvas site also. Again, questions are always welcome. It's going to be an extremely fast paced class. Okay. It is, do not fall behind in it. It is going to be almost impossible to catch up. So there is a lot of work to it. It's a very short class, only seven weeks. There's a lot of information in seven weeks. So the sooner you get after it, the sooner you have it, you can ask me questions, we'll, we'll get started. You guys have a great time and we will see you on the Zoom meetings.